quick. Right there, 20 inch. That's what we came here for. Ooh. Oh my. coming back to the spot again it's pretty windy right now it's about it's about like 20 mile per hour right now it's not too bad because it doesn't feel too hot so right now we're fishing towards the end of the day most of the time when we come out here it's usually early in the morning but today we're gonna try we're gonna try uh, fishing towards the nighttime to see if we catch anything uh, me personally I don't like you know fishing towards the nighttime compared to fishing early in the morning the thing sucks about the morning is that you got to wake up extra early to come to the spot but fishing towards the end of the night it's a little bit more flexible I don't really have full confident that we're gonna catch anything today but if you're watching this that probably means that we caught something we just went past uh, one of the older folks just right now and he said that he's been here since seven o'clock this morning and they didn't catch anything for some of you I know we just met my name's Chinu, and all my videos are gonna be based on striper fishing. You know, if you if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, or if you're not sure what my channel is gonna be about, don't be afraid to click on my channel and uh, see all my videos so you know what I'm talking about. I know what some of you are thinking. You will not walk this far just to catch striper I thought the same thing too last time we were here all of these grass right here they weren't there the grass is growing and water dropped from all these green grass down to the water right here it's about maybe 15 feet Okay guys, I want to show you guys the hook that I use for uh, bait and weight. My favorite hook is going to be the Eagle Claw. Now the reason why I like these hook is because you can actually bend the hook. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's a curve onto the hook and it points that way. So when you set the hook, the hook is, is going to twist when you set the hook. Now. If you don't like the way it looks, you could get a pliar and bend it even more. So when you bend it even more, that's just a even higher chance of you getting the fish when you set the hook. So just a thought for you guys, because I know most of most of the folks that come out here to do bait and weight, they like to use the octopus hook or I believe it's the gamagasu octopus hook. And when when we put the bait on, it's not really a big chunk it's usually just like that just like that see the hook sticks out like that but when i first started doing bait and weight with these hook i didn't really like them because of this but the hook doesn't scare the fish at all be honest with you guys the fish bite even if the hook sticks out like that and you don't really need a big chunk of uh bait to put on to throw out these fish are pretty picky and most of the time from experience i use a whole anchovies or 
or half of the anchovy and they don't actually bite compared to just a small piece like this now that we got all the fishing rod all set up there's one more thing that i i've been looking for of showing you guys i just bought this new toy right here they're not sponsoring me i just wanted to show you guys this product because i i think it's something that will be really fun for you guys to use so all you do is just you know there's a little button back here you just click it to turn it on you just snap it right onto the fishing rod like that and then you just hook this string right around it and when the fish does bite you see where i'm coming from so let's see how today goes all day today i'm going to be listening for that Yup, there we go. All the wait and patience. So we've been waiting about an hour and 30 minutes now. We got here a little bit early. And I was starting to lose hope. But what do you know? <laughs> oh, I got this line, dude. Plus I not. Uh, that one looks, yeah, looks like keeper, 19 inch. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Get him, grab him. Ooh. Right there, barely hooked. All right, so. It's about, looks to me like 20 inch. Right there, 20 inch. That's what we came here for. Ooh. Oh my gosh, dude. I thought it was a bite, dude. We got here a little bit early, but right now it looks like the sun is setting. So we're down to about one hour, 30 minute of fishing. And right now it's the best time. So we're hoping we're going to get them. I think we just got lucky on that fish that we just caught. We caught it with, with this rod right here. My brother said he didn't even throw it that, that far. He probably threw it out maybe only 25 yards to 30 yard majority of the time when we throw it out it's about 50 yard out 50 to 40 yard out so i think we just got lucky with that one be careful when you guys go to set the hook when the fish bite I know us as fishermen, sometimes we get super excited when the fish bite and we see the bend of our rod. Long, long time ago, as I was running to go set the hook, I happened to kick one of these rocks right here. I learned my lesson and my toenail almost came off. So. Got it. <laughs> oh, got him, bro. <laughs> no, I think I got it. No, yo, you yo, do. I got uh -huh. it. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. All right, so 20 minutes after our last catch, got a hit. It feels pretty heavy. Oh, yeah, pretty sure. Should be a keeper. Should be a keeper. Oh yeah, that line's crossed mm, this rod right here. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Uh. Alright, let's check it out. This one looks like uh, 18, 19? 18, 18? Yeah, yeah maybe. No, actually, I think it's 20 inch, dude. So, I got these. I got these, uh... I think it's called fish alarm or something like that or fish bite alarm i got it from amazon it's about 10 bucks for two and uh 20 bucks for four but unfortunately i only bought two because i wanted to see if it actually works 
because I saw some review on it and they said that uh, it's super sensitive when the wind blows the alarm goes off but it's not that sensitive all you have to do is just let the line a little bit loose instead of it instead of having it uh, super tight or instead of having the tension all the way to the alarm and you should be all set thing about bait and weight is when the fish doesn't bite we usually recast about every 30 to 45 minute and it usually works out pretty good If you guys made it this far on this video i just want to let you guys know that all these videos that i'm doing i'm doing it for you guys i just want to show you guys some of my spot that i stay at and what i use and how we catch them so if you made it this far don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button